With the eclipse being just a week away, I was thinking the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse right here in Port Huron, Michigan, would be a great subject to photograph that lunar eclipse. So let's look exactly how we can use photopills to plan out a shot like this. First, we launch photopills, and then we go into our planner. I've already set this to be where we are right now at the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse. We're gonna to go to the layers and we're gonna make sure that the total lunar eclipse is turned on and you can actually set what date you want that to be on. So we're gonna do that for 11-8-2022 and done. So we can see in our window how this is gonna look and how this is gonna work. So as we go through the evening, we can see at 3.03 a.m. it's gonna start and 410, 517, 6 o'clock, how these are. And as we push through, we can see how the Earth's shadow is gonna affect that moon. And then that golden circle in there is also gonna show us what's gonna happen as far as that blood moon look for the moon. So it looks like we've gotta be here pretty early, like by 3 a.m. and then go forward. And we're gonna do a sequence of photos on the other side of the lighthouse to kind of show the moon, how it tracks through and is gonna go right behind the lighthouse. So let's head to the other side of the lighthouse and see what it looks like from over there. Come on. We're still in the moonlight, it's something sweet. Let it wash over all of Let's look at how we can use photopills to plan this night shot. First, we launch photopills on our phone. And I already have set up in photopills about the lunar eclipse and the blood moon being on November 8th. seaplane overhead. In the moon planner section of photo pills, it shows that the eclipse is going to start coming into view at 3.03 a.m. The eclipse is going to start at 4.10 a.m., um, be pretty solid along 5.17 to 6 a.m., and then be kind of ending at 6.42 a.m. And at that point, we're going to have a moon set behind the lighthouse or off to the side. The idea is to show a sequence of photographs that'll show no eclipse, the eclipse happening, the blood moon, and then the eclipse waning as well as it travels through the sky behind the lighthouse. So let's look to see how photopills can help us find the exact correct location. Now it's pretty bright out here today with the sun, and so I'm gonna have a little hard time seeing the screen on the phone, but let's turn on our screen recording and have that all set. And then we're gonna turn on the nighttime AR, and then this is at 2.08 in the evening. So if we look through on this, we can see, and then as I run the time forward, you can see the moon. And right there, the moon is directly over top of the lighthouse. And that is at 4.12 a.m. from this exact spot where I'm standing. And then we'll continue on. You can see where it's gonna set right, right there. So I think if we do this with a bit of a wide angle lens, this would actually be a pretty good spot. The moon will just skate right beside that lighthouse and uh, should provide an interesting series of photographs for us. blood moon and the lunar eclipse, I was greeted with 100% overcast skies. No moon, no eclipse. But I have had other successes photographing the moon, and you can find those in the playlist right here.